Hey, hey, everybody. It's Katie, and welcome to the wilderness. Uh, this week, my family has been camping uh, a local trip here in the Asheville, North Carolina area, and we've been doing a lot of relaxing and reading, and it's been just delightful. And so today, I wanted to get started um, with doing some artwork. So luckily, I remembered to bring my journal this time, and I grabbed a handful of pens and markers and that kind of thing. Not too many, but just enough to fit in a little baggie for our trip. Um, and today I just want to do some um, kind of just relaxing artwork. And so I'm going to lean into the neurographic artwork, which um, combines just tuning into your body, your mind, your spirit, and your energy, um, and kind of incorporating that with your surroundings. And so I'm just going to be doing some light doodles. Um, it's all about connection and not overthinking and um, hopefully coming away with a nice piece of artwork and most importantly just feeling good and feeling connected with myself and this earth and um, all the good things. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around and uh, we'll get filming. So I just have my journal here and I'm working on top of the picnic table that's at our campsite and just grabbed my sharpie and all I am doing here is drawing lines. I'm really uh, not thinking too much about it. Uh, just kind of going without having to feel like I need to repeat patterns or anything. Um, and that's the base of neurological art. Um, it's really comprised of drawing free form and um, being able to connect between your artwork and yourself and your environment. And uh, that's why I kind of wanted to do a piece like this today because I just felt so connected with our surroundings. This camping trip has been an absolute delight because we've had several days of just um, having no plans and going with the flow and doing a lot of things that connect us back to nature, um, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to continue to uh, fill in this piece of paper with lines. Uh, I do go over my lines when I do this kind of artwork um, and kind of just make things extra connected. So anywhere that a line passes over another line, I will kind of add a little curve. So it almost forms like a web-like look. And you can do this um, as extreme as you would like to if you want to create really big curves every time a, one line meets another one. Um, that looks really cool too. Or you can just leave it as is. You don't really need to go back over the initial line um, if you don't want to. And then once I feel good about that, I'm going to go back over um, with some of my colored markers and fill in some of the lines and just kind of see what happens. Uh, emphasizing, like I always do, that this is all about the process here, not so much the final piece. Um, and just making sure it's feeling good for us at the moment and just letting our, our uh, thoughts flow and just being connected with what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video here uh, and add some music. So sit back and relax and enjoy this. And if you're doing this along with me, um, I hope you do the same. I hope you just take your time with it and enjoy the process. And I'll meet you back here in a little bit. Thank you. 
up the piece here uh, with this last section I just want to remind you all that you are uh, capable creative uh, very vibrant souls and whatever art making does for you whether it brings you some calmness or some ambition maybe a little bit of bravery I hope you continue to do it and lean into that because that's what it's all about even if no one else ever sees your work um, you do it because it feels good for you and I'm always here for support and encouragement if you need any. Feel free to comment below and I will talk to you guys soon. Cheers.